All right, this video is for people who were interested in the Newmark NDX 800 and using tractor software. All right, within the tractor software, you have different styles. You can upload uh, different media settings. And for this, I have two uh, Tractor X1 controllers and two different uh, versions of, of the uh, NDX 800 uh, media mapping files. Actually what I did, I took a dual deck setting and uploaded the, the A controls for this side right here. And for this side right here, I uploaded multiple deck functions. So other words, what I can do instead of buying four decks for NDX 600, I just buy two of them. Operate A right here, and then over here with this, I can use the recall, and I can go through A, B, C, and D. But with the uh, X1 controllers, I actually control effects separately without using the effect unit on this console, which I can set this up to control uh, A and B only. I can't really control uh, C and D. <coughs> Might be, but I hadn't got into it and tried to figure it out. So that's, that's one good reason why I got the X1 controllers. But to actually use this, you see, you can actually jog through your music when playing. You can use the scratch, the scratch it, pitch bend, cut effects on. Pick. Get that pick doll. Get to the next pick. You cut it on. See, it's on there. I got it all right here too, so get it all. Right here I got loop in, loop out, change the loop. Same thing over here on the 800. Get the loop out. We loop it. That's a shorter loop. That's a longer loop. Loop out. Then here in this mode, you have three hotkeys. But down here, on the X1, you've got as many as eight. kids right now trying to play. But you have a
And this right here does like, at the very beginning of the track, takes you all the way back there. It's kind of cool. And in normal, uh, you know, this stop and start times, but they actually control your. I love you too, honey. They should control your... Yeah, I hear your uh, filter. What? And key. You can change the key. Just with these right here. But one thing good about this setup, if you want to use this to control you know, all your decks like I'm doing now, over here on this one, if someone brings a CD, you can actually use the audio from it and hook it up to uh, your first channel there. And you know, instead of using it as a MIDI controller, you just switch over to CD mode. But don't never use this one because this one's controlling all your other music. That's, that gives y'all some ideas what y'all can do here.